What's the crack lads? We are back with our epic training guides. These specific guides are going to show you two versions of the player, talk you through the weaknesses, the pros and the cons, the weaknesses and the strengths, and show you a GP alternative if you do not want to spin for these or you want to stay free to play or you want to stay road to glory and you don't want to spend any coins, right? So we've already done that via Next up, we do have Morientes. So I've seen a lot of people talk about Morientes. Shout out to Terrahawk as well in the YouTube comments of the first breakdown review I did I did of all of these cards. A couple of people in Discord as well, um, giving in a couple of tips. If you want to join the Discord, it is in the description below. Um, so shout out to everybody helping out with that. But yeah, I've played with a lot of different versions of Morientes. There's been a couple that they've released. I do like Morientes. You know, anyone that watches the channel will know that I love kind of a big you know, um, good uh, guy that's able to header the ball and have something different, right? Have something that you can throw something different at your opponent uh, or at your, you know, the guy that you're going to be playing against, right? Unwavering form is pretty decent and he does have nice player skills. Super sub is the main one here that we're going to be focusing on because that really drives what this card can do, right? So straight off the rip, we've got 90 heading and of course with the boost, we're going to go to 92 and 82 with finishing and heading respectively. Jumping and physical contact are going to be nearly at 80 at level one and he has got 31 levels to go so the first build that we're going to look at lads is going to be dependent on one touch pass we do need one touch pass on this card because he doesn't have good passing he does have everything else pretty decent acrobatic finishing chip shot control rising shots first time shot heading aerial superiority and of course that all-important super sub now this super sub here this player skill is going to drive our second build more importantly but i do think you need every build of Marientis to to kind of be you know have him as an option he's not going to be your starting number nine so to speak that's going to be banging in a goal a game like Romario, Eto, David Villa, Michael Owen, Mbappe any of those guys that do it for you stick with them and use Morientes you know sporadically I would say but what a card this guy is if you train him up right he's a one-trick pony lads but he's a grand national champion that's how I would describe him as a super sub okay so with this build, I'm kind of showing you what not to do. If you train up his dexterity with 15 points, you will only get acceleration at 78 and balance at 77. It's not going to make a huge difference to his actual card, right? Yes, you have 88 finishing a 93 header, but it's not the best version of him. And a lot of people will train him up and be like stuck in their ways of like, oh, I need him to be as fast as possible, even though he's not a fast player. So let me dump in all my dexterity. And then a week will pass and it will cost you money to train him up differently, right? So don't make that mistake. Trust me on this Morientes card. If anyone knows what they're talking about when it comes to guys that are good in the air with heading, acrobatic finishing, and air superiority, I have dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of hours of Collar's uh, videos up that you can watch of the role that I use with Collar. If I'm losing a match, Collar comes on and he knows exactly what he's, his job is, right? So the second build of Morientes is definitely going to need one touch pass as well. I would say that that's probably a must for this car because his low pass is so low, uh, pardon the pun. But this build of him is slightly different, right? So we've gone a little bit more saucy on the shooting and the jumping and the aerial strength, but taken down his dribbling a little bit, right? Because we don't need that dribbling. We don't need passing. Uh, we don't need the dexterity to be so saucy because once we have 90 uh, offensive awareness and 90 finishing, we're going to be looking at this card of turning him into kind of like a battering ram in the air, right? To be an absolute beast in the air. First time headers, first time volleys, you know, get the ball out from his feet, bang, stunning shots, get a bit of space, Stunning shots are so overpowered that they really kind of make you uh, able to use cars like that are a bit slower, right? It's not all about Mbappe. So if you're if you're a bit struggling, that is something that you could look at. It's to having a big burly kind of playing style that's a fox in the box or, an, or a target man or something like that. Uh, the rest of his stats are pretty decent, but what we've done on this card is we are not going to be starting Morientes, lads. Uh, this is the biggest point i will make about this card do not start Morientes as your main number nine it doesn't matter if you're playing like a gp guy it doesn't matter if you're playing like a lesser guy just try and you know bring Morientes on to get that super sub boost in the second half you know the 45th minute half time if you get into half time and you're one nil up or you're one nil down or it's one all or whatever it is two all whatever bring Morientes on and he will get i guarantee you he'll get two or three really solid chances that you will be able to finish your dinner with and he'll be a beast for you right that is where you want to go with it this super sub and for that, we've got 88 jump. We're going to be getting the boost on that. We've got the finishing and the header. We're going to be getting into the 100 zone with the header with the boost. And of course, the offensive awareness and the finishing are going to be mighty, mighty as well. So if you are looking to stay free to play, 
Giroud is a good option. You already have one touch pass as well as every other stat there. Heading, air, acrobatic finishing and area superiority as well as super sub. And of course, you've got one touch pass that you don't need to train on him. So that goes and you don't need to train it on him. He's super cheap. He's down as a target man. 90 header, 90 offensive awareness. He's slow, but he's got the jump and the physical contact. So if you're used to playing with Giroud or somebody like that, Morientes would be a massive upgrade for you. That is it for me. I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying these series and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.